We all need a close season just so we can look forward to the new campaign in La Liga. And that's what we have on the menu here. Everything starts afresh in Spain's top flight. Stay with us, we'll have all the action for you live on EA TV. And a warm welcome on what is a fine day for football. I'm delighted to be able to report. I'm Derek Ray, and with me here on the commentary box is Stuart Robson. And it's always a special day on the calendar, opening day in La Liga. It's Almeria facing Real Madrid. Well, the atmosphere is incredible inside the stadium, Derek. There's a real sense of optimism amongst the fans about the new season and what it might bring. It's been a long wait, but hopefully we get a great game to kick their campaigns off. The initial 11 today for the hosts. Well, on paper, they look a very balanced team. But the three advanced midfielders must at times make runs beyond the centre forward. Otherwise, they might just lack a bit of penetration. And the starting 11 for Real Madrid. Thibaut Courtois is the keeper of choice. Luka Modric plays with Toni Kroos in the centre of the park. And in this tactical setup, they have just the one player in attack. And now they get the ball rolling. Eduardo Camavinga. Jose Lu. A very timely interception. Well, not the pass he had in mind. Well, who will be the player to decide the outcome, to determine the course of events? No reason at all why it won't be this man, Stuart. What do you anticipate seeing from him? I would describe him as majestic when he's playing at his best. He glides past... Oh, sorry, Stuart, look at this! Can they cover up? Has restarted 1 0 here. Rodrigo. Camavinga. And teammates around him. Might be a chance here. Cavajal. And it's played into the centre. And there to intervene.
Rodrigo Eli. It's with Eguaras. Diego Sosa in the right place to cut out the pass. Alex Pozo. Melero. He's managed to lose his marker. Crossed into the penalty area. And a free kick awarded by the referee. Well, some referees might have elected to hand out the yellow card, but no booking on this occasion. Delivered into the box. Not a poor ball and easy for the keeper. Well, if you make your move too early, you're always in danger of being ruled offside. Vinicius Junior. Well, racing past his man. Will they get themselves level here? And it's in beyond the goalkeeper. Real Madrid are level. Well, just look at this again. He's so hard to knock off the ball once he gets going. Of course the defending could be better, but that's a great individual goal. Back underway, level pegging, one goal apiece in this game. Alex Pozo. And here's Baptistao. Definitely look as though they want to make this move count. Good use of advantage by the referee. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Real chance. Well, the keeper was called upon and delivered. Well, he's so good in those 1v1 moments, and he's proved it yet again. Can he deliver it with accuracy? Not the best clearance. Eder Militao. Very alert defending to cut off the supply. Well, a foul, but the advantage with Real Madrid. Vinicius. And he's made headway. And there is the goal. He's found the net. Joy unconfined. Well, just look at the defending here. The keeper is left totally exposed. It's an easy goal in the end, but well taken. Well, two one it is here. Leo Baptista. Well, he's lost the ball. Rodrigo Eli. Alex Pozo. Magnificent defending. Vinicius Junior. 
No advantage with them. Referee says play on. Alex Pozo. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. Well, there you can see Real Madrid haven't been able to control possession, but what they've done with it has been really good. And they'll be happy with the way the game is being played at the moment. They love to play on the counter-attack. Yes, a really effective performance all in all. Who can he pick out? A chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. It is half-time here. They certainly have got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point, Stuart. Well, I really liked his first-half display. He was certainly the most influential player on the field, and I'm expecting more of the same in the second 45 minutes. Well, as they get the ball rolling again, Interesting to see how the second half pans out. Space afforded him. Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Vinicius Junior. And another treat from La Liga coming up for you live here on EA TV. It's Almeria, and they'll be up against Osasuna. Still behind, but the pressure mounting. Cross towards that far post. Well, in fact, a good but straightforward claim by the keeper. Well, not giving him any breathing room. And possession given away well as you can see the hosts have had most of the ball but their attacking play has been too slow mainly due to a lack of movement of the front players at some point they have to threaten the space in behind the defenders otherwise they're going to lose this that's right and priority number one here is to win the ball back can't miss surely and a goal they've increased their lead and they don't want to be throwing it away from here Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace on the counter-attack. They were so quick to break out from their defensive positions, and his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. Well, it's a tale of four goals in this match now. Three, one it is. Leo Baptista. It's with Lucas Robertone. Showing patience as well as persistence in the build up. Opportunity. And it goes to alter the arithmetic and give them hope that they can turn this round. Well, as you can see, he beats the defender so easily with a change of pace, and then it's a decent finish. That's a very good goal, you have to say. Underway again, and we're being treated to plenty of goals. 3-2 at the moment. Iguaras and Farba he read the situation defensively and did his job Vinicius Junior it might be and he's only gone and made it a hat-trick absolutely unplayable today what a performance
Well, here it is again, and the pace in which they break forward is devastating. It's so hard to defend against, but there's still plenty to do from here. He hits it so well, though. Lots of pace, lots of power, and the keeper just can't react in time. It's a great strike. So the current scoreline, 4-2. Melero. Akiemi. And Barba. Very quick thinking there. Modric. Just getting word that something has happened in the Real Betis game. With all the news, here's Alex. It's another goal for Real Betis. They're pulled ahead by two with 71 minutes played. Many thanks as ever, Alex. And a quick reminder, we've got more football from La Liga coming up for you live here on EA TV. It's Real Madrid, and they take on Athletic Bilbao. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. Intercepting it intelligently. Tony Kroos. In with a chance. Top class defending. Will he finish? Able to close down the shot. Robertone. Melero. Now we're inside the final 10 minutes in this one. Real Madrid coming away with it. Now, I believe there's been a goal in the Real Betis game, so let's hear all about it from Alex Scott. It's another goal for Real Betis. It was a low-driven cross into a crowded area, but he was there from close range to finish that move off. They're now three ahead with 79 minutes played. Many thanks, Alex. Alert defending. Well, only minutes remaining now, and Real Madrid enjoying a commanding lead. Stuart, what have you made of their overall performance? Yeah, clearly the better side. Obviously being fantastic up front, but it's their work ethic for me. They're just not happy unless... They... Can he finish this? There it is! Victory more or less guaranteed now! Let's see this again, because the delivery into the box couldn't be any better. Played into just the right area, but the finish is so easy. He's given far too much time and space. He doesn't even have to jump. Poor defending, you have to say. going to have two additional minutes Sosa and given away and the referee says that will do it it's the end of the game and it's a victory for Real Madrid the fans are going to be happy with this well, Derek, they were the better team all over the pitch. We saw good individual performances. We saw an attack which was always threatening, and they played really well. What a performance that was today.